Hey, welcome back to Cool Kids Art and let's draw another weapon from Fortnite and this time it's going to be the bolt action sniper's rifle. So let's get started with a quick sketch and then I will show you line by line on how you can draw this. Alright, so to draw this, uh, we're going to start out with the middle part and this is going to be the hardest part just to get the right proportions but to begin we're just going to draw, just draw one straight line across and you can use a ruler if you like. Okay, and then from that straight line, you're going to come down a little bit and a slight angle curve it back. Okay, so after that, we're going to come back almost halfway. So if you take the half point, halfway point of this line, it's probably somewhere around here. So we're going to come back and draw another straight line. Okay, you know, it's a very odd shape. So once we have this, now we're going to come down just slightly. And we're gonna give it a slight turn as well, just so it's actually just a slight angle there. Okay, and then in here, we're gonna come straight up, and then now we're gonna come back this way, almost matching to this point. And then here is the trigger, so we're gonna come down, we're gonna draw a line like this, okay, and then let me draw the trigger so we know where we are. Okay, so once we have the, all these basic shapes, it's actually very easy. So from here, we can draw, we're just going to give this right here a little bit of a thickness. And then now we can draw the magazine, and this part's easy, so we're just going just gonna to come down at an angle. And then close it off. And then we're going to extend it. And this is just going to be another rectangle. Okay, and there's some details in here, but we can add that in later. So once we have this, now the, the rest of the gun is actually a little, a little bit easier. So from here, we're gonna go, go back up. We're just gonna give kind of a little step right there. Okay, and then we're gonna come across this way. If you come across here, draw a line. And then we're gonna draw kind of like a curve. Okay, so that's where your hand goes to the... So from here, now we're going to draw this line down here. We're going to come across. And we're going to go up. So it's a lot of strange angles, but we're trying to get to the, uh, the stock. Okay. And now we're gonna, from here, we're going to draw straight back. Come up. And now we're going to go straight back. Okay, and then we're gonna come straight down and we're just gonna connect these. So we draw this at an angle. Okay, so it's a very strange looking shape, but we're almost there. So once we have this, we might as well finish the, uh, the, the stock at the end. So we're gonna come straight out and we're gonna extend these lines. Then again, I'm gonna close it off and then I'm gonna extend these lines a little bit just a little bit and then we're just gonna cap it off with a rectangle okay and looks like there's gonna be well let's all right let's let's add in these two little just draw two little rectangles in here just sort of give us some details and then here a circle and another one there Okay, and then now let's see. Let's go back and finish up. Well, let's add in the uh, this little bolt here. So right around here, let's draw a line. Okay, come up a, and come up a little bit. Come across and just close that off. And I'll draw a little, another little rectangle in there. And let's add in some details. We can add in this. Uh, let's see, there's going to be two circles here, and then one over here, and one over here. Okay, and let's see, right here, let's add in some details right here, because I think this is actually really cool. So, from here, if you extend this line here, just kind of come down, and then now we're going to just kind of come across here. Just give this whole bottom section a little bit more detail. So that looks like a, some kind of bevel. And then even up here, we're gonna draw another line. 
and then we're gonna come down we're gonna give it some thickness but make it a little bit wider at the bottom okay so it makes it a little bit little three-dimensional right it's a lot cooler looking all right so now let's draw the scope so up here from the back here to here we're gonna draw just draw one line across okay then we're gonna come down and then for this one just give it a little bit of step just to give it a little bit more detail all right and then from here we're gonna draw another rectangle going up and then from here let's see draw one rectangle here and another one right here it's about the same level so this is going to hold up the scope so once we have this we'll draw we'll extend these so it's basically just a lot of rectangles right <laughs> okay and then from here in the middle just draw another one and let's see it looks like just give this a little bit slight angle and then on the top another one and then now we can see these little gaps in between so we just draw like two little lines there just so that looks like something is going through okay and then now for the, the front of the scope this one actually goes up a little bit and then on this one goes down a lot more Okay, and then we're just gonna connect it and make sure it's just straight down. So once we have that, then we can just extend two lines here, close that off. Okay, so that's the front of the scope and now for the rear. So now just draw another rectangle right there, real easy. And then we're gonna draw, well, we'll give it another one, some more details. And then now we're gonna come out flare out a little bit close it off and then now we're gonna go straight back we're gonna close that off and make sure if there's gaps in between here we we'll just draw two little lines again to make it look like something is going through and let's see there's gonna be two little screws there and two more down here and then on on the bottom rail right here just draw three little bumps so I'll start off with the middle and I'll draw two more on each side. Okay. All right, so now for, let's see, let's draw the barrel. So the barrel is easy, right? So it's gonna be pretty long. So I actually might not draw it so long because it's getting out of frame. So it's almost as long as this line here. So that's so what the barrel just goes straight out. And you can use a ruler and from the bottom here again, just go straight out. I know mine's just gonna be a little bit crooked <laughs> and then we'll just close it off and I'll give it a little slant and then down here we can just kind of come out and then just kind of curve it and then connect that and that's it for this bolt action sniper's rifle and hope you guys like the way it turned out and if you do please do give me a thumbs up and I will see you next time